Welcome to Living the Empowered Life podcast, where we discuss all things empowering, encouraging and inspiring. My name is Yvonne Ellis. I'm an empowerment speaker, author, coach, trainer and founder of Yumi Empowerment, a company that facilitates the empowerment of people. I help people to make positive life change, live in their purpose and develop into their best version of self. I share stories, interviews, spiritual encouragement and actionable tips to empower, encourage and inspire you to live the life you want. So if you want to live the empowered life, join me each week on my podcast so we can take the journey together. Hello Empowered Lifers, welcome to Living the Empowered Life podcast. My name is Yvonne and I am your host. This podcast is all about bringing you content that's empowering, encouraging and inspiring. So guys, if it is your first time listening in to my new listeners, I welcome you. Please be sure to check out my other episodes and to my continued listeners and supporters. As always, guys, thank you for taking your time to listen in and for your support over the years. I really do appreciate you. So today, guys, is episode 97 of the podcast. And wow, we are nearly at the end of the year at the time of filming this podcast. It is actually the 17th of November. And we are halfway through November and we're going to be in December very, very shortly. I'm not sure if this is going to be my last episode for November. I think it may be the last one for November. I'm sure the next time I will be uploading an episode will be December. But anyway, guys, we're nearly at the end of the year and what a year it has been. 2024 for me has been a very, very challenging year. It has had, you know, good things happen, bad things happen, in between things happen. And in one of my episodes before the end of the year, I will be just doing a recap of my 2024 and things, you know, that I learned along this journey of this year and things that I'm going to try and work on for 2025. So you need to make sure, guys, that you have hit your um, subscribe button or your notification button on whatever platform you're listening to this podcast on, whether that's Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, it could be listening direct from my website on the podcast app, or it could be just listening or watching it on my YouTube channel called Living the Empowered Life. Anyway, guys, hit the subscribe or follow button so you don't miss the bi-weekly episodes and you don't want to miss my recap for 2024. So guys, before I get into the episode, just to let you know, I am doing a workshop called Dream Chasers on Saturday, the 25th of January. It will be online 2 to 4 p.m. um, British time. The link will be in the show notes below. Basically, it's only going to have, you know, 12 places available because I want to work with a small group of people who are really at that point in their life where they want to try and go after their dreams. You know, they've been thinking about it for a long time. Maybe they don't have the support to do it or they feel, you know, they would like to um, get encouragement to do it or a strategy to do it or plan. And I'm really excited about this workshop. I did launch it um, last week. It is on Eventbrite, the tickets. And already one person has put down that they're going. So guys, really, there's only going to be 11 places left. But I'm really excited to be able to do this workshop with anybody that's interested because I really do believe in the times that we're living in now more than ever you've got nothing to lose to just try it and see if your dream's possible and it doesn't have to be a big dream about anything massive it could just be something that you may maybe you've always wanted to do I'm really happy to be able to support and encourage people in this area because I know it's not easy for people to follow their dreams as I shared in the last episode only two percent according to Forbes have actually followed their dreams or are living their dream. So guys, as I said, Dream Chasers Workshop, all things are possible. Link will be in the show notes. So please do check it out. Also as well, guys, I have done one of my dream things recently. Actually, last week, Sunday, I went to a ballet performance at the Royal Ballet and Opera House. I did say to the Living the Empowered Life newsletter subscribers that it was on my dream list to do. And, you know, I was recommended to go and see a very good ballet by somebody who actually works there because they were teaching me about ballet, the difference between ballet and opera and kind of making recommendations on things for me to see. And they recommended going to see a performance by Ballet Black. 
I went last Sunday evening. It was really weird, guys, to be out of my pyjamas and out of the house <laughs> on a Sunday evening because Sundays I don't usually really go anywhere. But I got myself dressed up, went to go and see this ballet performance and it was really good. Very, very calming, very um, different to the types of things that I usually go and do. But it was a good experience nevertheless. And I think I want to encourage you guys to go out and have new experiences even things that you wouldn't necessarily usually do it could be things that you've never tried i want to encourage you to go out and try new experiences i have never been to a ballet performance before and i was pleasantly surprised i enjoyed it i may go and see something else i want to go to the opera you know these are things that are not usually associated with things that i usually do but i want to try and have new life experiences and that is what living the empowered life is all about so I will be sharing more in the Living the Empowered Life newsletter. And if you're not subscribed to my monthly free newsletter, which encourages people to live an empowered life, motivating, inspiring content, um, I would encourage you to sign up. It's free. All I need from you is your email address. I will leave a link to the LTL newsletter in the show notes below. So guys, this episode really is just a short episode of random things that I've been thinking and doing. Um, this week and for the last few weeks, I have been busy doing all sorts of things and doing things as well that are not necessarily all physical things, doing a bit of work in, within myself, you know, lots of different things I've just been doing lately, just random things. I don't know what that's to do with, but um, it has been necessary and I just want to share some things with you that I've been randomly doing and thinking. And um, some of those things I'm going to be taking over into my new year as well, because these are things I think in some uh, aspects that are necessary and a work in progress. So one thing I've been really focusing on at the moment is my health. Now, I've always been a really healthy person. I'm not somebody that takes my health for granted. But this year, unfortunately, for the first time, in 18 years, I've been the heaviest I've ever been. And I don't know what that is. I kind of cut out my cake on coffee dates. because I thought maybe that was contributing to it. <laughs> but I realised actually it wasn't really the cake and coffee dates. You know, maybe in a little way it was because I was doing it more than once or twice a week. But really what was contributing to me being the heaviest I've been this year was emotional eating i had some different challenges towards the beginning half of the year which really kind of knocked my motivation and everything else and you know i was still able to move and progress and focus on the positive as i was going through these kind of emotional challenges but one of the things that i was doing whilst i was doing that was snacking a lot that's one of the things i started to notice a lot about my diet is that i was snacking too much and whilst I was still able to fit into my clothes, you know, I noticed that I had put on um, a bit of weight, even though I exercise most days. You know, guys, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize that if you are exercising, you're supposed to be in a calorie deficit. And I wasn't in a calorie deficit. I always was when I was exercising. But this year I was snacking, but not making adjustments and still exercising, which meant you know, it wasn't really doing anything. But one of the things that I started to do was to cut back out the snacks, um, drink more water. Also as well, I bought myself a walker, a walking pad. And guys, this thing has been life changing. I've been doing it every single day for the last probably three weeks. And I've already noticed huge changes in my body shape and in my clothes, how they fit, they fit loose, you know, um, and with the diet changes I've made as well, I've just been seeing, you know, a lot of positive progress in the right direction. And when I do the walking pad, guys, I do it every single day. After I have my prayer time in the morning, um, I go straight downstairs and I get on that walking pad and I walk for an hour. Monday to Friday, one hour a day. And that is before I've even left the house. So usually I'll do 7,000 steps before I've even stepped outside. And then obviously when I'm out, I'm walking so each day I'm kind of on average doing like 13,000 steps 12,000 steps a day and I absolutely love it weekends sometimes I don't tend to go anywhere but I would do an hour and a half walking to do 10,000 steps standard when I'm in the house 
but it's been so life-changing guys I feel fitter I feel more energized and it was a real lesson for me you know how if you don't keep an eye on the things that matter to you like for me what matters to me is my weight when you take your eye off the ball guys that's when things can go kind of you know downhill very fast you know I wasn't focusing on my healthy eating I wasn't focusing on you know how things emotionally were affecting me and that had an effect on my weight and you know I'm somebody who does have standards about myself and how I carry myself I teach my daughter the same thing my husband is the same way you know we try and promote a healthy lifestyle within our home with how we you know are as parents how I am as a, as a person as well you know I want to be able to be in good health so I can do all the things that I want to do so having that walker has been amazing if you struggle with exercise guys or you you know hate the gym and stuff I would tell you to invest in a walker walking pad you can get them for really good prices um, Amazon do them or type in on Google walking pad it will bring up loads of places where you can get them also as well do check about the weight that the weight um, limit for the walking pads and things like that as well so you know you get the right one but yeah do look at the reviews because a lot of people who buy it do leave reviews but yeah that's one random thing that I've invested in lately that's really been helping me another random thing I've kind of been focusing on lately is building connections with people now for those who've known me a long time you would know that I'm quite an introvert per introverted person now a lot of people might not think that because I do a lot of videos and I you know a lot of people say I come across confident and everything on videos and yes that's because I know what I'm talking about and that's taken years and years and years of videos to get to that point to be confident in talking and speaking and being on camera but usually when it comes to people I have a very very small circle of people I can count on three fingers the amount of friends I have who I trust who I tell my business to um, obviously I have my husband and my daughter and you know that is really my circle you know I don't really venture outside of that and even with my friends that I have had the two or three friends that I have that I am close to we don't speak to each other a lot at all and that's fine because we're all exactly the same <laughs> but outside of that you know um, I've started to realize that it is good to build connections with people um, I used to do this before the COVID pandemic and I think I started to realize the value of that again when I went a few weeks ago to the Karen Brady exhibition business and tech exhibition I connected with quite a few people um, you know through talking about my podcast and giving out my podcast cards and also as well lately I've been realizing the power of connections as well through you know the conversations I've been having with ladies who are subscribed to my living the empowered life newsletter really been having really good conversations about things that I've wrote about listening to other people's kind of thoughts and things and their experiences and for me I think going into 2025 that is an area I'm going to continue to work on building connections outside of what I'm usually used to um, it's good for business it is good to connect with people who are you know invested in living the empowered life and the things that I'm doing so that is an area of my life that I'm looking to continue to build on now that doesn't mean I'm going to be out every weekend or every month at networking events um, but I will try and at least go to one networking event every quarter and if you were to say to me which is an area that I probably found difficult in terms of living the empowered life I think that would be an area that I would definitely highlight that needs improving living the empowered life in action is all about breaking out of those limitations and finding a way around the things you feel uncomfortable about doing and finding courage to do it and the next thing that I'm going to be working on is inner character and my relationship with God a few weeks ago I did a video about working on the inner character more than the outer appearance now I'm somebody who does take you know pride in my appearance I do like to look good and everything else but I think matters of the heart after reading the word of God and the Bible and stuff I started to ponder more about my insides you know am I um, displaying the fruits of the spirit am I working to be a better version of me inside because those are the things that matter you know to God the heart of a person and the way the person is inside is what God sees 
this is why he's always concerned with matters of our heart and he looks at our hearts and looks at how we are when nobody else is looking and those things that you know when it comes to inner character it could be things like self-discipline self-control it could be patience you know inner things inner character it could be integrity it could be so many different things it's about recognizing and having that self-awareness within yourself to say actually there are some areas within myself as a person that I'm not too happy with and I'm going to try and do some work to change that now for me that work does include the Lord God I have to pray and ask for help for him to change because if I could have changed these things myself I would have done it already but the thing is I haven't been able to do some of the things that I you know would like to try and do better within myself so that for me is an area that I'm working on and my relationship with God you know hasn't been the greatest in terms of me spending time consistently so I've, I've been aware this year has been all over the place for me and that is something that I'm going to work on and the last thing that I've kind of been working on is my websites as I said guys this is just a random podcast of just things I've been you know thinking working and doing really and my website is one of those things that I've been working on um, my website, um, Daughter Arise, is my new website for Daughter Arise, I should say, is in the process of being launched. That is for my non-profit that supports survivors of childhood sexual abuse. My Yimmy Empowerment web website is undergoing some work as well. I want to revamp, you know, my website and add things to it. So I've been kind of, you know, looking at that. So just trying to kind of work on my websites um, and also getting prepared to launch my, my third business as well in the new year. Working on websites is something that I have been watching some videos about, thinking about things like, you know, the layout, the edit, the, the descriptions and all that type of stuff. These are just things that, you know, I believe will help me to showcase my business and myself, you know, in, in a really good light. And it's something that always is subject to being changed and being um, updated. So it's really important that I get those things right. Um, as I said, 2024, my focus has been a bit off when it's come to business and things like that. But I feel like going into 2025, I'm going to be mo more focused on these things to do with my business, like my websites and, you know, you know getting inspiration from other places so that you know my website really does kind of display you me empowerment living the empowered life and is a place where people feel that they can get the personal development inspiring content that they need so guys as i mentioned today was really just a random podcast of different things i've been doing thinking and acting on and all that type of stuff sometimes life doesn't always happen in order of things Sometimes life happens, you know, with lots of different things moving at the same time, going at the same time. And today I'm just, you know, in this podcast, just sharing some of the things that have kind of been going on for me and things that I've been doing and all different types of stuff. My desire and my aim is always going to be to try and live an empowered life the best way I can, work on the areas of my life, both outwardly and inwardly that need changing to be able to facilitate that and at the center and at the core of it all is my relationship with God so you know God is the one that empowers me to live an empowered life so that is what I'm doing you know trying to do having different experiences doing different things and I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing you know look at different areas of your life what random areas have been coming up for you what is the things that you need to work on what are the things that are in progress and don't forget guys to give yourself a pat on the back and be positive for any little breakthroughs any little things that you do that you know has been hard for you because it's very easy to punish and push yourself and you know say this needs to change this needs to change and you're doing the little changes and because they're not big changes you know you're not giving yourself that kind of acknowledgement for the fact that you're trying so guys i'm just going to encourage you you know whatever random things you're working on you know continue to do it because it will all add to your progress in the end so guys the bible scripture that i want to leave you with today comes from the book of proverbs 16 3 it says commit to the lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans so guys for me establishing my plans all the little things that i shared with you that i've been doing on this little episode 
as always, I ask God for help in everything. You know, that Bible scripture to me means a lot because you can have the rest laid plans. And sometimes I found in my own experience, sometimes my plans might not be God's plans. Sometimes my plans might not be good for me. And God sees all and God is able to guide me through it all. So what I try to do in everything, really, whether it's my creative videos, my day, everything is to tell the Lord my plans and allow him to lead my day Um, and if you have the Lord God in your life you can't go wrong because he will guide and lead you in the right direction he's never going to lead you astray I can testify to that God has always led me in the right direction so that is the Bible scripture I want to leave you guys with I will leave all links to everything in the show notes below guys please do hit the send me a message um icon on the website wherever you're listening to please leave feedback for this podcast you know what you thought of the episodes guys it would be really really great and i will leave links to the dream chasers workshop to the courage course to everything that i'm doing in the show notes description box below until the next time guys take care